Sussex by the sea, always an inviting prospect. Welcome everyone to the Amex Stadium. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Brighton and Hove Albion up against West Ham United. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will have... Can they cover up? Rice. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Can he put it in? And a goal! An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Jared Bowen and with that the attack fizzles out difficult to stop him Lalana options in the middle Antonio. It comes to nothing in the end. Welbeck. March. This is looking threatening. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. For Niles. Declan Rice and West Ham in a position of menace. A really effective shielding under pressure. Alexis McAllister. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Oh, skipping away. Went in strongly to win the ball. Alexis McAllister. Well, getting close to the half-time interval and the story so far, they're not really making home advantage count. Stuart, your take. Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. Dunk. March now. Pascal Gross. Well back. Well, the referee blows the whistle, and that is going to be all for the first 45 here at the Amex. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think? So, back in business, West Ham with the lead here, but this game far from being done and dusted. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Time for a change then. Aaron Cresswell. Now with Paqueta. Vladimir Tsofal. 
showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. Is this the moment? In it goes! That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. West Ham so back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Lalana shielding the ball superbly. Caicedo. McAllister. Gross. No possibilities in the centre. Can he get one back? Trying to chisel a chance out of it. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. This might be ideal for the counter. Defenders need to cover. And the flag has gone up. It was really close. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Pascal Gross. Now the pass not finding its target. Antonio. Intelligent threaded pass here. Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself on side. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay on side. With the owner of the red car obstructing the main entrance, please remove the car as soon as possible. Thank well, back. Well, can they open up the defence here? And did well to keep hold of it while waiting for the support to arrive. Maxwell Cornet. Declan Rice. Now with Paqueta. And that pass could be troublesome. Oh, but cutting it out in the nick of time. Lalana. Dunk on the ball. Pascal Gross. Denis Undav. It's a perfect challenge. Tomasz Socek. Three minutes of added time here. Beautifully weighted ball. Rice. It has to be. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. And time for the change now. Trying to deliver it accurately. So the referee brings this game to an end. A frustrating day for Brighton and Hove Albion. Three points dropped. You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball. And then just a few mistakes at the back and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. Well, Stewart, he really has had a lot to say for himself out on the pitch. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.